ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm deeply sorry for just disappearing out of out of uh, out of nowhere. Uh, I was actually on a small vacation for like five days. I returned. Uh, it was actually for six days, but uh, we returned on the sixth day, which was actually today. So yeah, this was the sixth and the final day of the vacation. Uh, the bus took a long time to actually come and it also took like four hours to actually come back to um, the city that I live in so yeah but it was a really fun time like we had a lot of fun in beach and I was actually able to uh, get my phone be before I actually go in there so yeah I actually played the melee electric event and I was so happy to see uh, Mega Gargomon, High Andromon, uh, Ebimon, Boltmon, and also Grand Locomon receiving their videos. Actually, Bol, uh, actually, um, um uh, Grand Locomon already had his V2, but the other ones did not. So I'm actually happy about that. Like, yeah, I'm actually happy they are finally listening to us after actually closing the game. Like, I mean, before closing the game. So yeah, they finally listened to us. But hey, it's better than nothing. So we do have only one month to most likely have fun with the new V2 Digimon. This is actually awesome. Thank you, Bandai, for at least letting us have some fun. This is at least better than not giving them V2 at all. So yeah. Now anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure you have actually seen in the announcement that uh, the melee, uh, the melee Mirage event is going to come soon. So. Yeah, the melee mirage event is actually going to come soon, as you can see about the upcoming mirage event, melee mirage event. So yeah, I'm actually uh, I actually found all of the mirage Digimon in game, all of the mirage Mega Digimon I mean in game. So yeah, the, uh, most of them don't have V2. Like yeah, we do have uh, Grand Quagamon has a V2 as I believe, Miss Maimon as well. So yeah. Uh, Macemon is most likely the only one that doesn't have a V2, as I do believe. Uh, Minerva Mon does have a V2, and uh, Millennium and also Magnemon. So, yeah, uh, we are gonna go over all of those Digimon. By the way, uh, all of the stuff that I'm gonna say in this video, the, they are, uh, I mean, all of the advices I'm gonna say in this video, they are actually just my opinions. So, yeah, you can go with whatever you want. So, yeah, uh, you just go with whatever you want, you choose um, you choose which resistance and all that, I'm just saying my opinion, so, yeah, uh, now for Imperial Drummond FM, if you want to get Imperial Drummond FM, uh, you have to have first an Imperial Drummond DM, which is a Blazing Digimon, so I will not be including him in here, so, yeah, if you want to have in an Imperial Drummond uh, FM, you'll just go to Digivolve and you have to have an Imperial Drummond uh, DM in here and you just click on him and then you say okay and of course you just click um, you just click more change so yeah you will not need fragments you will only need some clusters for that so yeah uh, now uh, I will not be saying my opinion on stats so yeah, but I will be saying my opinion on some of the stats, like not all of them. Like, yeah, maybe the attack in here is perfect, defense and special defense are also not bad, so yeah, that's all what I'm gonna be saying. Like, I'll not be saying uh, my um, my opinion on the HP or something like that, but I will also be saying a small advice uh, about what medals you should give to what stats, so yeah. Uh, now, um, for the medals, I would say give him gold HP and gold special defense. Yeah, he can be tanky, but his skill is not that good, either his stats, so, yeah, he, but I'm just telling you my opinion, you get, you give him gold HP and gold special defense, now for the resistance, every, just keep in mind, every Mirage Digimon, in my opinion, has to have a dark resistance, so yeah. Because of Bilfamon, Bilzimon, Bilzimon X, Lilithmon, um, who else do we have? Um, I don't actually remember. Kazuhamon, maybe? Black Wolf Raymon X as well? 
Yeah, I I guess these are all the dark theater that I can actually remember. I'm sorry, I haven't played the game for like a long time, so yeah, my my phone was not strong enough to actually play the game, so I was not even able to play the challenge level for like three days. So yeah, I but I don't really care. I'm not actually even playing the melee electric. I'm just playing the bonus level and also the challenge level. So yeah, I'm I don't really care to be honest. Like I don't really need anything from it. I already got what I want. So yeah. And um yeah uh that's all what I do have to say for Inter uh, for Interdrum on FM and now for Grand Wagamon. He can actually be tanky because as can see he has 3700 uh, 3, HP and also as you can see his defense stat, stats so yeah I would say I'm giving him gold special defense and also gold HP yeah like make his HP even stronger so yeah don't go for speed or even attack his attack is already strong enough so yeah uh, now for the resistance, uh, of course, Dorg and also give him stun. Now for Priest Mainman, the one and the only beam, he can actually be tanky, like as you can see, he's, he's really tanky because of his big head. So, um, yeah, I would say give him gold attack and gold HP. Like his defense and special defense are already perfect. Like, just give him, just increase his attack power and increase his chance of surviving. So, yeah, which is of course the attack and also the HP. And for the resistance, of course, dark and also stun. So yeah, now let's go to one, to the one and the only the one the only marriage did you want that we all that we want as a V2 in global. Mate mod. Now I'm gonna be listing his stats in the Japan version because of course he's not in global yet. Uh, his V2 is not in global yet. By the way, uh, the next event, which is of course Melee uh, Mirage, is gonna be the third event for Mastmon. Like Mastmon right now has come back two times. When the Melee Mirage event comes, it's gonna be third die uh, third time dropping as an event uh, in an event so yeah uh, now keep in mind Mastemon is actually a magic uh, is a magical hitter so yeah increasing his attack is pointless and so I would say give him gold special defense and gold HP his special attack is already good but his skill is garbage like yeah it's it's 250 power and also um, it decreases the defense by 10% while he's actually a magical hitter, so yeah. Uh, that's all that I do have to say for Mason. Um, it makes me it's it's really sad to see such such uh, such a cool Digimon. Like my friend really wants it as a V2, but he will not be able to use it because like he's he's garbage. Sadly, he's he's garbage. It's it's really sad. Like Mason has a really cool design, and yeah, I like it. Like, he's like a future time traveler that has fought with like light and darkness programs or something like that. I, I don't know. He kind of reminds me of Mega Man. Me Mega Man. I mean, he kind of he kind of reminds me of Mega Man. To be honest. So yeah. Now let's go to Minerva Man, the one and the only Digimon that nobody even wants. Like yeah. It possesses superhuman strength and can effort, uh, effortlessly wield a great what? Great what? Great events as large as its own body. Yep. It possesses it possesses superhuman strength and nobody even wants it. I love I love the description of every. Uh, Digimon that nobody wants, like, yeah, seriously, yeah, I really love it, uh, she's actually tanky and a speedy one, so yeah, she's one of the only Digimons that's actually tanky and also speedy, but nobody wants it, and nobody wants it, one, I mean. so, yeah, uh, I would say give her gold attack and gold HP, no, by the way, don't 
you dare give her any gold medal. Don't you dare do it, okay? If you are making a V2 for collection, I would say give her Dark Resistance and Stun. But don't you dare, I say it again, don't you dare give her a gold medal. Okay? Please, I don't want to lose any more brain cells. Millennium on! The one and the only annoying light hitting Digimon. Yes, light hitting Digimon. Um, and I would say for the males, I would say give him gold HP only, just gold HP only. And if you want to add another gold medal, I would say I'm um, giving gold special defense or defense. Uh, that's that's how we choose it. Uh, I mean, uh, just uh, you choose what you want. Like I, but gold HP is important so that you could survive. So. Yeah, and by the way, if anyone's asking why do I only say two gold medals, because easily you can't put uh, more than two gold medals. So, yeah, y you can't put more than two gold medals. Like, it's, it's not possible. I don't think it's possible. So, yeah. Magnemon! Man! This guy! I really love this guy. I really want him like 6,791 defense and special defense. I would really love to have this guy on my team. Like, yeah. Uh, I truly would love to have this guy on my team. Like, 100%. So, yeah, if you are gonna give him a. Uh, if you are gonna give him two gold medals, I would say give him. Um, by the way, he's magical. His two DNAs are magical, but he, anyway, if you are actually gonna get him, then just get any um what you want, like what uh, any DNA you want. Like uh, you will either just get uh, get uh, to Magnemon X antibody, which we are gonna look into into it just uh, just in a second. So yeah, if you are gonna be making a Magnemon uh, normal Magnemon only. Then give him dark resistance and also stun resistance. So yeah, and for the gold medals, give him special attack and HP. So yeah, now let's go to Magnemon X Antibody. Yes, when Magnemon's Chrome Digizoid muscles are tensed up, they temporarily transform into Gold Digizo uh, Digizoid, and its entire body glows with golden light, raising its it's it's even what even this what how do you even defense as well as mounting an absolute defense that can resist data distinguishing attacks yep it's so tanky as you just uh, as as you have seen from his own description, he is, he is so tanky. Yep, 6,872 defense and special defense from only just his V2. Like, you can actually get his defense and special defense to literally 9,000, as I would guess. So, yes. Yep. He's literally the tankiest Digimon in game. He's actually more tanky than Chris. I, I have to say it, he's more than even free. So yeah, if you're gonna give him a uh, if you're gonna give him two gold medals, then I would say um, either you give him for the two uh, defense special defense, or either you get an HP and with maybe defense or special defense, or you could go with HP and special attack. Like I don't know, you either you choose what you want, like. I don't really know. You choose what you want. This is uh, this is your own Digimon, not mine. I'm just saying my opinion. So yeah. And for the resistance, I would say give him dark and sleep, because of course, merciful mode. He's not speedy, so merciful mode will outspeed him 100 percent. Like 100 percent. He will always outspeed him. So yeah. That, now let's go to Dinasmon. Yes, Dinasmon. Oops, I clicked on that by accident. Uh, yeah, Dinosmon. 3.5k HP is not bad. 
He he can actually be tanky, but not tanky in the same kind. Like his defense is actually good, but his personal defense is actually garbage. So yeah, if you are going to give him medals, I would say give him HP and partial defense. Like he's actually speedy and also a little a little bit tanky. So yeah. Now for the resistance, I would say give him dark and sleep, not poison. Because Lusman might uh, like some of the times you can actually um have uh, a little bit of luck with Lusman. Like uh, sometimes Lusman might not be able to land her poison uh, on poison weak Digimon. Like it actually happened with me a lot of times, and it was on a Dinosmon. So yeah, Dinosmon magically uh, has a resistance against poison. So yeah, this is this vulnerable to poison and here is a lie. So yeah, Bandai is actually uh, making it secretly resistant uh, resists to poison. So yeah, I guess shorts should, should actually upgrade this. So yeah. Dinos Monex, man, I love this guy. Seven thousand eight hundred special attack. Now, if you are actually planning to give him something, then I would say um, give him HP and also special defense. So, yes, HP and special defense. Uh, and for the resistance, I would say give him dark and also sleep, not poison. He's already natural to poison, so yeah. Now, let's go to Jessman, the one and the only Digimon that's actually hard for me to get. Like, I don't even have a base for him. I only have a fight chip hackmon. As you can see, hold up a second. Yep, there we go. Here's the hackmon. A fight chip one. Yep, it's a fight chip. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one real soon. So yeah. Now for the stats, if you, I mean like. He can be a little bit tanky, to be honest. I would say give him gold HP and gold special defense. So, yeah, his attack and speed are already perfect. So, yeah. Now let's go to the one and the only just one X antibody. So, yeah, three to five K HP is already good. So I would say give him gold HP and gold special defense. And for the resistance, I would say dark and also skill lock, so that he does not get skill locked. By uh, maybe you refer to or most likely Kid Taurus Mon X Antibody. So, yeah, guys, that's all that I do have to say for now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, hit the bell so you don't miss any video. And, yeah, guys, I'll see you soon again in another video. And, yeah, guys, bye bye. And, um, yeah, see you later.